Hello students, today we are going to solve some extra questions. After solving the question answers of NCRT, now we will be solving some extra from some extra notes and material, so that we can understand the chapter in a better way and we get the capability to write or to solve any kind of question. So, first of all we will begin with fill in the blanks. So, in extra questions we are starting solving from the fill in the blanks. Now, the first one is coal is a dash resource that means we have to write which kind of resource coal is. We all know coal we get from the nature ok and so which kind of coal like which kind of resource it is obviously it is a natural resource. So, coal is a dash resource, coal, coal is a natural resource. coal is a natural resource ok. Now, coming to the second one, the second one again the second one is the main component of fossil fuel is dash, I will repeat the question the main component of fossil fuel is dash. See we have discussed this thing like how fossil fuels are formed, fossil fuels are formed due to the decomposition of plants and animals and which kind of decompos decomposition that means millions of years ago when the plants and the animals they got buried under the soil and on that again this uh, layers of the soil sand was formed and high pressure was there, high temperature was there and along with that in absence of oxygen ok absence of oxygen means what the uh, oxygen was not available over there and so what happened these animals these plants got converted into fuels. So, what is there in the animals and plants like living organism when we talk about so, so obviously the living organism when we talk about so what is their carbon and so uh, I will just repeat it the main components of fossil fuels is so obviously it is for carbon. Now, come to the third one the gas obtained by fractional distillation of petroleum is called ok. I will repeat the question again the gas obtained by fractional distillation of petroleum is called what? If you remember we have discussed the fractional distillation also. So, we have discussed about the fractional distillation. Now, uh, when fractional distillation uh, the process starts. So, what happened first of all the gas comes out ok the gas comes out and the gas which comes out during fractional distillation is known as what again I will just repeat the question for you the gas obtained by fractional distillation of petroleum is called dash. So, obviously when I am saying that we are doing the fractional distillation of petroleum and in this process the gas which comes out what does it known as. So, it is known as petroleum gas third one petroleum gas. Okay. Now, petroleum gas can also be known as we have discussed what it is known as like what it is actually. So, I can even write here liquid petroleum gas or in short I will write in short I will write LPG ok. So, liquid petroleum gas or petroleum gas. So, when it is formed when the fractional distillation is done ok during the fractional distillation the gas which comes out is what LPG. Now, coming to the fourth one dash is obtained along with petroleum in the oil wells ok. Now, dash is obtained along with petroleum in the oil wells. So, you know uh, we have discussed this thing 
that natural gas can be obtained from the oil wells. Actually, no, we can get natural wells in both the way, uh, natural gas, okay. How? Sometimes it is available in the uh, well, uh, like where we can find only natural gas, okay. Like uh, no other thing or no petroleum product is formed. So, the only the thing which is formed is natural gas while at the same time sometimes it comes out along with the petroleum products also. So, dash is obtained, dash is obtained along with petroleum in the oil wells. So, what is obtained? Natural gas. Come to the fifth one, uh, dash is the process of conversion of dead and buried trees into coal. I will repeat, dash is the process of conversion of dead, dead and buried trees into coal. That means, that means see the animals and the plants, okay, uh, especially I am talking about now plants, when the plants got buried. Then what happened again again the same thing we will be talking now the layers of the soil sand was formed and again what was there high temperature high pressure absence of oxygen okay. So what happened A after this in this process the coal uh, was formed okay the wood got converted into coal. So what this process is known as due to which the carbon the plant okay the plant gets converted into coal. So, it is known as carbonization, ok. I will just repeat it once again, dash is the process of conversion of dead and buried trees into coal. So, what it is, it is carbonization. It is carbonization. Okay, if I ask to define carbonization, okay, so how can we define carbonization? Again, like vice versa, okay, the process of formation of coal uh, from what? From the buried trees in absence of oxygen and uh, with what? High temperature and high pressure. So, when the different ways you can say, but you should understand the meaning. The question can be framed in different ways, but just a just the, uh, the meaning of that question should be like it should be clear to you. Now, the next one, sixth one, excessive burning of fossil fuel increases level of dash in the air leading to dash. See, there are two blanks given over here. The fill in the blank, I will repeat it for you. Excessive burning of fossil fuels increases level of dash just saying fossil fuels i told you like fossil fuel has got what see take the example of coal take the example of petrol okay so these have what it has carbon okay now carbon i'm writing carbon so what's the question excessive burning so it's burning means it's combining with what oxygen and obviously when carbon combines with oxygen or when carbon is burned. So, what will be formed? It will give rise to CO2. So, carbon dioxide gas will be formed. One more part is there in the air and leading to we all know like what happens when the level of the carbon dioxide increases. So, what will happen? Global warming will be there. How global warming will be there? Because the carbon dioxide is a uh, which kind of gas so I can say like it is a greenhouse effect gas ok it traps the heat along with it that means the heat remains in the nature it does not gets back ok when heat remains there in the nature. So, what happens when carbon dioxide is like more of carbon dioxide is there the work of carbon dioxide or like what carbon dioxide does so carbon dioxide absorbs the heat it traps the heat when less carbon dioxide is there so what will happen less heat will be trapped over there 
but when the level of the carbon dioxide increases it also increases the level of the heat absorbed by it. So, when the heat will be more ok, so what will happen obviously the temperature of the earth will increase ok, when temperature of earth is going to increase that is what is known as it is known as global warming. So, let me read the complete one excessive burning of fossil fuel increases the level of what is increased obviously carbon dioxide is increased and second part the carbon dioxide when the carbon dioxide increases it give rise to what? it give rise to global warming. Okay, and now what is the meaning of global warming? The rise in the temperature of earth, okay, the rise in the temperature of the earth is known as global warming. Now please come to the next one, now I will write seventh one. The product of petroleum that is used to make the surface of roads is, I repeat the product of petroleum ok that means when the fractional distillation of the petroleum is done then ok the product of petroleum that is used to make the surface of roads. So, we have read this we have discussed this what is there what is used to make the surface of the roads that is done other than bitumen ok. So, let me write the seventh one Okay, yeah. So, let just I will read it again the product of petroleum that is used to make the surface of road is what is bitumen. Now, come to the next one the next one is number which one 8 ok dash is used as a fuel for jet aeroplanes. I will repeat the question dash is used as the fuel for jet aeroplanes. Now, actually the special type of kerosene ok. So, we can say like kerosene is used to uh, uh, in the jet planes, but please remember not the original the normal the kerosene which we are using uh, is a how uh, domestic fuel ok. So, I shall write which one now 8 1 dash is used as a fuel for jet aeroplanes. So, it is what kerosene which one special kerosene is there which is used in the jet planes ok. Coming to the ninth one So, we will move to the ninth one. Now, the ninth one is dash is called black gold ok. Uh, we know gold is of golden color, but petroleum is no lesser than gold ok. And we have discussed why it is known as uh, black gold. First of all uh, like uh, so many products can be formed from the petroleum ok. Then second thing it is very like it is not uh, available in all the countries in the same amount. Then it is very very useful as we uh, get petrol also from it petrol, diesel, kerosene that means the fuels are obtained from that. Just imagine if the fuel you do not have with you for 3 4 days your life will be totally disturbed ok. So, why it is known as and what it is known as like I will just repeat the question dash is called black gold. So, petroleum is called black gold and rather like uh, even I would like to ask why it is known as black gold and we will solving it this question after later on in the different yeah I have got, got a big list. So, somewhere it will be coming why it is known as black gold ok. So, at present they have asked dash is called black gold. So, none other than petroleum. Coming back to the third one now, wood is converted. Now, see uh, again, again, I am telling you that the questions can be the limited one, but the way of asking the questions get changed, ok. So, we should be thorough in a way that we should be able to answer the questions anyway. So, the next one is 
wood is converted into coal by the process of dash ok. I will just repeat the question wood is converted into coal by the process of dash. So, what process just now we have discussed. So, we all know that is what none other than carbonization. Okay. So, due to the process of carbonization what happens the wood gets converted into the coal. Okay. Now, come to the next one number 11 now dash is a place where petroleum is refined ok. Again I will read it dash is a place where the petroleum is refined obviously where the things get refined in the refineries ok. So, what shall I write over here refineries ok refinery is a place where the petroleum get refined. So, I will write over here refinery ok. So, refinery is the place where the petrol get refined. Now, next one children dash is used as domestic and industrial fuel ok. That means, we have to write the name uh, of a fuel which is used in both the ways what are the both like what both the ways which both which ways I am talking about like it can be used in the domestic purposes domestic fuel also and the industrial fuel also ok. Just let me read the question once again it is number 12 dash is used as domestic and industrial fuel ok. So, what it is it is coal. Uh, we have discussed how coal can be used uh, in the domestic uh, as a domestic purpose is also the domestic purpose as well as in the industries also ok. Now, please come to the next one now it is number 13 the first oil well the first oil well was dug in India at dash in the year dash ok. So, where it was dug it was dug in Assam ok it was dug in Assam and in the year 1867 ok in the year in the year 1867 what they have asked I will just repeat the question for you the first oil well was dug ok. The first what oil well was dug in the year uh, which year they are asking about the year that means in India where they are talking about India especially ok. So, the first the first oil well was dug in India at which place in the year which year ok. So, it is Assam and the year is 1867. Now, again the old oldest refinery in India is at dash and it was established in dash ok. So, again it is also in India and like they are talking about the India. So, it is Indic boy ok it is what now they are asking about oldest refinery ok. So, it is what Digboi again that is in Assam ok. It is Digboi in Assam and the year is 1901 ok. So, and this one the 13th one I can write over here like in the bracket if you want to mention it is Maku ok. So, what is there this is a Assam Makum 1867 and uh, this is uh, again what did boy Assam 1901 ok. The first question is about when the oil well was dug ok and the second question is about the oldest refinery when like the refinery the properly that oil was dug. Now, come to the next one now next one is number 15 ok. So, let us talk about number 15 main constituent of natural gas is dash again I will repeat the question main constituent of natural gas is dash we have discussed natural gas let us see how natural gas is formed natural gas is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables we have read that 
and then for the natural gas it can come out along with the wells of the petroleum as well as like it can be uh, obtained separately ok both the cases are there and natural gas how like what are the things or what mainly forms a natural gas so that is what methane ok so that is what methane or CH4 so this is the main constituent of the natural gas now come to the 16th one separation of petroleum into useful fractions by dash is known as refining see please try to understand the question what they are asking about separation of petroleum ok to separate the petrol into useful fractions fractions the word they have used fractions and they are separating it so obviously which process is used it is fractional distillation ok and it is known as refining also why because again the things are refined ok we obtain we get pure things in this process so I will just repeat it separation of petroleum into useful fractions by dash is known as refining so uh, which process fractional distillation So, fractional distillation was the process in which the different substances were obtained at different temperature ok. Please try to recall what we have studied like in the fractional tank column when the petroleum were used to be kept and it is heated ok. So, what will happen when it comes to the boiling points like suppose uh, first of all the gas comes out ok. Then again what will happen the uh, thing the substance which has lowest um, boiling point ok it will boil first and will come out so first of all then again after natural gas what comes out petrol comes out so uh, what process which process refine the petrol so that is what fractional distillation ok now please come to the next one and the next one is question number 17 now let me read the question a gas used as a domestic as well as industrial fuel is dash I repeat the question separation of petroleum into useful fractions by dash oh my god I am so sorry I read different question uh, just now uh, it is 17th one. So, let us come to the 17th a gas used as a domestic as well as industrial fuel ok. So, which gas is this this is again the natural gas. ok. So, natural gas can be used in the domestic purpose also as well as in the uh, industrial purposes also ok. Now, come to the 18th one ok. Natural sources are of two type very interesting thing uh, we should know this ok. So, what is this the first line when I started the chapter it was a very first line ok very first line in the sense when I uh, you know started I was talking about the chapter. So, I told in the beginning how natural resources can be divided the first of all resources can be divided into two categories ok natural resources and main made resources and then natural resources can again be divided into two categories. So, what are the two categories exhaustible or uh, inexhaustible. So, I will just write this side it is what is the number 18th one ok I will just write 18th over there. So, that ok. So, what it is it is exhaustible and second also I am just trying to find out yeah it is here only and the second one is what inexhaustible ok. So, they are asking about which kind of natural resource like how it can be divided. So, it can be exhaustible and inexhaustible and if you remember exhaustible means which kind of resource the one which get exhausted the one which get finished the one which we cannot form again. So, exhaustible resources can also be known as non renewable resources and the other one can also be known as renewable resources ok. 
Now again the other term uh, which can be used exhaustible will be what the one which is getting over like this we have limited thing these are non renewable and these are what conventional sources of energy and that is what non conventional that means modern method modern ways of utilizing the of uh, uh, using like uh, to have to get the energy in different forms ok. Now come to the next one. Now come to the 19th one ok let me write 19th over here ok that you have formed from plants and animals that get that got buried under the earth millions of years ago. I am repeating the question dash we are formed ok what was formed ok dash was formed from plants and animals try to listen carefully from plants and animals what was formed and what happened when plants and animals got buried ok when they got buried under the earth and how many years uh, am I talking about year and two no it is millions of years ago. So, when millions of years ago when the plants and animals they were what they were buried under the soil. So, they got converted into what ok they should be approached to so find out the meaning of the question so that the things become very clear in your mind. So, dash were formed from plants and animals that got buried under the earth millions of years ago. So, what is that it is fossil fuels. Okay, it is what fossil fuels. Now, please come to the number 20. Okay. So, please come to number 20. Now, dash is one of the cheapest and most widely used fuel. What they are saying now it should be cheap, it is not very costly. Okay. So, it is a most widely and very like it is common. Yeah, more of the person the more person more people are using this. So, what they are asking dash is one of the cheapest and most widely useful fuel. So, what what is what, what kind of uh, fuel is very cheap and it is not I am saying it is very very cheap I said in comparison ok and it is used on wide range. So, that is what coal. Coal is one of the cheapest and most widely used fuel ok. Now, please come to the 21 number 21 okay. petroleum is extracted by drilling holes in the earth's crust ok that means when the earth crust is drilled ok when the earth crust is drilled what is there inside what we get from there that after digging ok. So, what is formed it is petroleum which we get ok. So, what will be formed it is petroleum ok now come to the number 22 fossil fuels are dash natural resources and are limited ok. Again I am repeating the question fossil fuels are dash ok fossil fuels are dash natural resources and are limited. When I am talking about fossil fuels that means what is there coal is there petrol is there ok all these things are there all these things are what how it is all these things are exhaustible or uh, uh, like they are they would not get exhaust inexhaustible or exhaustible. So, these all are what exhaustible ok. So, come to the question the question number 22 fossil fuels are dash natural resources and are limited. I told just before 2 minutes that the sources these sources ok which one the these one exhaustible means they are come they will come to an end they will finish that means we have got limited stock of these and so what I shall write over here in 22 fossil fuels are which kind of natural resources these are exhaustible.
okay these are exhaustible natural resources now come to the next one okay so these were the, the uh, sorry this was fill in the blanks was question number totally one in the room in number okay now we will be discussing with the question number second the tick mark the correct answer so we will be discussing the tick mark the correct answer so i'll just let me write the question question 2 it is and it is tick the correct answer the first one is the process of separating useful fractions from petroleum is called i'm repeating the question the process of separating useful fractions from petroleum is called okay just listen to the options the options are refining a b distillation okay uh, rather i should say fractional distillation is written fractional distillation c is both of this and d is none of this so we have discussed like in fractional distillation what is like what happens the uh, things the substances which are present there in the petroleum it gets separated refinery also does the same thing so the answer will be both of this okay both of the this come to the second one now which one is household variety of coal okay so the process of separating useful fractions from petroleum is called what refining as well as fractional distillation now come to the second one which one is a household variety of coal i'll repeat the question which one is a household variety of coal okay so the options are peat bituminous lignite and anthracite i'll repeat the options peat bituminous lignite and anthracite so which coal is used is bituminous now we'll talk about the third one which one is an ideal fuel okay which one is an ideal fuel what's the meaning of ideal fuel we have discussed what's the meaning of ideal fuel a fuel which is very good is known as ideal fuel but what good means what is it like does it looks beautiful no so what are the characteristics of an ideal fuel so it should give less smoke it should be a uh, little bit like it should be cheap okay it should not leave uh, lots of uh, waste material material of the you know the leftover should not be there or if it is there it should not be much okay so uh, there should be no leftover and if it is there it should be less what is the meaning of leftover that means after using the thing which is left say for example if you use coal after the coal gets burned so what will be left over there ash will be left over there so ash is what ash is a leftover of the coal after burning okay uh, so it should be easily available okay it should produce uh, more amount of heat okay idle idle substance idle fuel is what it should produce more amount of heat okay then uh, what can be the uh, the the burning temperature the temperature at which, uh, which uh, at which it catch fire it should not be very low and very high see suppose that the temperature at which the uh, fuel catches fire so uh, is very low say for example petrol if it is uh, like that so what will happen it will catch uh, fire easily so it cannot be used as a fuel and if the temperature is very high then again it will be very difficult to burn so it should not be in both the ways like at the temperature at which it starts burning should not be very less and should not be very high that means it should not be around the room temperature also okay so uh, we were discussing third one which was an which one out of this is an idle fuel 
so when i am uh, saying idle fuel so what can be there i'm just giving reading out an options a natural gas b coal c kerosene and d petrol okay again a natural gas b coal c kerosene and d petrol see petrol it is what its emission is very dangerous okay serious uh, it causes serious problems for us now uh, kerosene obviously the same thing coal again it is also like um, it creates pollution to a large extent so what is their natural gas okay so natural gas do not cause any kind of pollution it does not leave okay leftovers are not there so natural gas is what it is a kind of an idle uh, fuel now come to the fourth one the main constituent of coal is that means out of what coal is formed okay so what is coal how coal is formed when the plants they get buried i'm talking about millions of years ago when the plants got buried and above that the sand was formed the layers of the sand was formed sedimentation took place and it slowly in absence of air in presence of high that means when the pressure was high when the temperature was high and what was not there oxygen was not there so it got converted into coal okay so uh, the main constituent of coal is what it, it is made up of what actually the plants okay plants and trees the main constituent is what the fourth one i'll write coal what coal carbon okay that means coal is made up of what carbon the main constituent of coal is carbon okay now come to the next one fifth 